So if Boeing are going to come and land their air taxi here, or anyone's going to land their air taxi, I need to clear a bit of ground. So uh, time to make a space for uh, EV tolls. This, this will be my EV toll landing area. I can't wait for the first air taxi. It's down. Okay, so uh, of course we need to see if these EV tolls are going to fit. Now most of them have got a 10 meter wingspan, hang on, hang on, hang on, 7, keep going. Slowly, slowly, monkey, 9, keep going, 10. Uh, there we are, yeah, no, yes, 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 we'll definitely, so we'll fit an Uber and we'll fit a, uh, a Boeing in here. Go on out to the old length of the tape, son, let's give them a bit of run. Because, you know, it'd be nice to have 30 metres, I thought, well, the only reason I thought it'd be nice to have 30 metres is because that's the length of the tape. Oh, I've got to go back a bit. Tighten it up. Keep going, son. Ooh. Ooh, 30 metres is, is quite big, isn't it? I, I can't flatten this amount of... Uh... Where are we at? 28. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. There we are. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. So that's um, that's ten meters uh, in the middle and ten meters either side for safety's sake. Better cut cut away some of these. The approach, I think, I'd like it to be over over the dam, and you can have trouble in Africa. In fact, you might see behind the the guys there working. Um, we get big thunderstorms in the afternoon, so if you do arrive uh, via your um, e taxi or e VTOL your urban air mobility vehicle you're very welcome to stay in the uh, sus news conference center there um, should you get stranded by weather i was very lucky bruce let me go on to his, one of his online seminars for a 3d rendering so i've taken the skills and experience I've learned from that and, and used it. And here we are. Here's some renderings of uh, an idea of size. Got to think what might be coming along. And I think these are the, th well, these are certainly the three platforms that I will be spending most of my time watching. Uh, that's the Bell Nexus, the Kitty Hawk Cora, and the Aurora Boeing Pav. They call it Pav. That's very dull. They need to give it a funky name. So EV toll, personal air vehicle, urban air mobility, uh, yeah, takes choice picture winner whatever that phrase is uh, who knows what they'll end up being called in the end but we can see that bell nexus 12 and a bit meters across the cora 11 and the aurora job eight meters across a little bit longer i think than across so that's what might be there what might be coming to my vertiport uh, as i build it and uh, i've got to build i've got to leave at least a one and a half times the uh, wingspan of the craft all around or rotor span as it would be for heliports because that's the standard I think everywhere is going to going to adhere to you're gonna to need to have a, a pretty big roof space aren't you to get some of these things in if you are one of the people selling roof space for UAM now the other thing I thought about and as often happens I, I discovered I was completely wrong <laughs> imagine that I thought, well, let's put the range. Let's put the range there and back because uh, obviously I want to come back with my shopping or whatever it is. Or if uh, an air taxi company is sending an air taxi to me, how far away can they send their air taxi from? And I was quite surprised. So starting on the inside, that inside wing, that is 80 kilometers. Well, it's 40 kilometers, so it's 80 kilometers there and back. That's the Boeing job. Uh, the next circle out, Kitty Hawk Cora, 50 kilometer there and back range, or 100 kilometer in a straight line. And the last circle, the, the Bell Nexus, with its claimed 200 kilometer range. But who knows? We don't know if, if that's going to happen, do we? Um, that does seem like a big number. And of course, it's all very much back to the future. Came across this when I. Uh, when I was looking at vertiports and thinking about all sorts of things. This is the, as it says, analysis of vertiport studies funded by the Airport Improvement Programme. DOT FAA signed off in 1994, look. Um, so there's been studies and thinkings about it for a long time. Lots of wheel reinventing happening. I'm going to study this and consider my vertipoint with this, this in mind. 
<laughs> and no doubt there's going to be part two or three of this. Have a lovely rest of the week, dear viewer. Uh, we'll uh, catch up with you every Tuesday, 2100, 2100 GMT for drone stuff this week. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.